sometimes I work the corner of people. I want to work the corner right now of our fans out there that are struggling with weight because I know what a struggle that can be, uh, not only physically but emotionally, mentally. And I, I just want to, for a moment, touch on that. Obviously, in my business, training fighters, my God, you know, 40 years now, uh, I'm in the business of taking weight off of men, where it's not unusual to take 35, sometimes even 40. I say, I try to whisper it because it's not what you want to do in eight-week camp. But sometimes it's not about what you want to do in life. It's about what you're stuck with, what you have to do, what your mandate is, what your job is. So I've gotten in situations where we've had to do it. So it's nothing unusual. Um, but for the average person out there that's struggling, I want to give you a little bit of this. I'm thinking about you guys. Where when you're consumed by your appetite, controlled by your appetite, controlled by... Uh, one thing I'll jump in there about, it's I always say that I'm going to connect the dots in this podcast with me and Ken with life. Use boxing, use fighting as a metaphor to because everyone's in a fight. This is a fight to lose weight. Everyone's in a fight. It just depends what are you fighting for. And I always say I want to connect the dots between life with everybody out there and whatever their fight is and use this to do that. So in the fight with weight, as I say about the fight with boxing and UFC, it's mental. Most of it's mental. I understand the physical side. I understand the the appetite. I understand the desire to eat. I understand, um, you know, all of those things, the habits that we've gotten ourselves into. But the mental side, it's always there. It's, it's always the most important side. It really is. Uh, the psychological part of it. And what I want to say to our great fans out there that are in this fight is that when you're at that moment where you got to make up your mind, okay, I'm going to make a stand. I'm going to make a stand here and I'm going to go on a diet. And you're making a stand for whatever your reason is. Health, looks, you know, you know ego, vanity, it's just pride, pride. Whatever, whatever it is. Uh, the summer's coming up. You want to look better on the beach uh, like Ken does uh, without a shirt on. Um, whatever, you want to fit into that dress, into that suit. Whatever it happens to be. Once you make that commitment you're gonna the early part is the hardest part and you're gonna get to a point where it's gonna be a choice between sticking with your commitment not eating certain things right on the diet or not sticking to it and I want to give you a couple tips when you get to that point where you're really besieged it's, it's almost like you're taken prisoner prisoner by your desire to eat. I, I get it. And you, you're you ready to cave because your desire to have that is so great. To have whatever it is, cheeseburger, pasta, well, I don't know, whatever, cake, whatever it happens to be that you shouldn't have once you make this commitment. I want you, for that moment, we use this in lots of things. You hear the term visualization. It's a very handy tool. I want you to use that tool, visualization, where you start to think, okay, I want to have this, and you're thinking only of that moment because it's going to satisfy you. I want you to think beyond that moment. I want you to visualize what it is you're trying to do, how you want to look, where you've looked in the mirror and you're just not happy where you've tried to get into pants or a suit or a dress or whatever, and the button doesn't quite reach the hole. Um, you don't get there, and you're not happy, and it gets you down. I want you to remember that. Bring that memory back. I know we want to push away not pleasant memories, but in this kind of case, bring them back. 
Remind yourself of why you're doing this. And visualize what you want to be, how you want to look. And don't think so much about that moment. Think about how you're going to feel once you get past that moment. Think about how you're going to feel tomorrow morning. And you've been there. You know what I'm talking about. But you got to get there. That's the key. You got to get, that's like getting through a tough neighborhood without getting beaten up or without, you know, something happening or, or tough terrain in the woods without, you know, stepping in quicksand. You got to get there. And I want you to get there. So to get there, visualize how you want to look, how you want to feel tomorrow morning rather than how you are feeling right now at that moment. Just life is about moments. It really is. Fights are about moment. 30 30 second moment that you got to deal with the guy. And if you deal with it, you get past that moment. But if you don't, well, you're stuck. You're stuck in an eternity of regret. Just moments. So to get past that moment, think about how you want to look tomorrow. How you want to feel when you get up in the morning. You're going to feel good. You're going to say, I got past it. Okay, another day in front of me. I'm going to get there. I'm going to replace, let the desire to eat be replaced, that overwhelming desire. Let it be replaced by the desire to get up tomorrow morning and know you conquered it, know you got past it, know that you feel proud of yourself. Let that desire that know you're going to look better and feel better, let that desire replace the initial desire. And then, obviously, there's the physical things you can do. Can I talk about Athletic Greens, a great supplement, no doubt about it. But there's the things, first of all, drink more water. Allow your food when you have your meal. Allow it to digest before you continue eating. Drink water. Let, let help yourself with good nutritional tips, good nutritional habits. Yes, but the most important part, what is it, guys? What is it? It's the mental side. I got one other I got one other tip for you. If you're super hungry and you feel like you can't control your appetite, eat an apple, wait 15 minutes. If you're still hungry, eat another apple. Apple has a lot of fiber. Any kind of fruit will have a lot of fiber. It'll make you feel full. If you can eat it and wait 15 minutes, 100%, 100%. will work. In other words, get into good nutritional habits. Help yourself. Yeah. Just know if, if you're drowning in a pool, you grab... What do you grab? A life preserver. You grab a float, (laughs) right? Well, there's things out there to grab when you start drowning a little bit in this fight. There's things to help you. Like Ken just mentioned one. The water. Have a glass of water. Have a bottle of water. Have an apple. Have a piece of fruit. Whatever that fruit is. Get past that moment. Get past that instant. And you'll be happy for it.